Yankees have the ability to score a lot of points quickly, but they're going to have to play some defense also. Well, as you mentioned, they can't trade baskets. No. Uh, Asa draws the foul. We'll go back to the line and shoot two more. Have you been in the Big Ten on a number of years? It's one of those situations where you can't put a premium on what the physicalness of the body do to you over a 40 minute period of time. Uh, where early in the game, your quickness and wide bodies can, can match up. But over time, that physicalness, that those thick bodies keep banging on you, it starts to take away a lot of your a lot of your energy. You know, Central Florida will have to hit free throws down the stretch too. Yes, they will. And again, the, the, the state college and four team are never and they'll never quit. They're going to fight the very end, and they've got the ability to score quickly. But they've got to be able. To, they can't trade bats like we talked about. Asa hits one of two, 13 for the sophomore. They're getting close to time now, where it'll become time score, and now the clock is already there to become their enemy. They may start the, the foul uh, inside of three minutes to try to, to uh, stop the clock. Johnson around a pick in the lane. Left it short, tapped out though, and kept alive by the Manatees. Oleka. Oleka's been a warrior today. Face up jumper in the lane, no good. Oleka Ballycourt, and the loose ball picked up on the baseline by Johnson. And this is what Coach Ryan, I know, is driving him crazy right now, is giving up second shots. When Parks really got up there to get that rebound. Oh, nice pass. No look pass inside the ball, and Andy shoots in the layup. He's got six. 17 point advantage for the College of Central Florida, 83 to 66. Stolen away. Wiggy. And he misses the layup. How do you miss that? Follow a shot by Parks was no good, but he got fouled. And Jordan will go to the line to shoot two shots. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Spring break like a picks up the foul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Parks has missed three free throws in a row. Whoa. Good. It's so critical for again for younger players to to really really watch the game at the next level and watch the technique of the really good free throw shooters. When a player misses, uh, watch what they're not seeing. He, his, he hit that shot, but his hands came down. He didn't follow through. And when you're tired, particularly, you start to lose you start to lose that technique, and that's when you generally miss free throws. Big lead for the College of Central Florida. It's going to take some three. Yeah. And there's one right there by Dante Johnson. Johnson's first field goal of the game, all five points in the second half. Uh, Central Florida's trying, you know, again, trying to keep everybody there. Good time out by Coach Ryan. I think he him out. Well, we've got a double technical foul on 34 Garner. And 20 of the Patriots. Very difficult to win. Coach Ryan's talking to you about keeping their composure right now. They've got the big lead. They just need to be really, really solid with the basketball and smart. Not let their emotions get out of control. 307 remaining. They have the home field again. The other team. 15 point game. But 15 is nothing. <clears throat> you can shoot the ball the way the man he can. But the, again, they, they can't let Central Florida score easy baskets. Traveling call, no basket. And that's exactly what can happen. Now all of a sudden you get an easy shot and you're trying to shoot quicker than you're ready to, you're ready to play. Now if they come down and hit a three. Well, you can't turn it over. Fortunately, Oleka picked it up. Oleka leans in. And if that's an offensive foul, that'll be his fifth. But it may be a blocking foul on McCrory. Looks like it's going to be a block on McCrory. Yeah. All right, so now you start to see time score. Now is when... 
you know what, and Coach Erickson will really earn his pay right now because now's when he can start making the substitutions based on offense, defense. He's got to try to get a steal early. If he does, he's got to foul the right guy and get the clock stopped, and then they've got to come down and, again, penetrate. Yes. If, if Michael Sanchez can, can get the ball to the rim, an easy one, they'll take it. If not, he'll probably pitch it out, and they've got a bunch of three-point shooters. But momentum can change really fast with a team like this. So Holloway and Brian Cobb will check in for the Manatees. If you're Coach Ryan right now, you're still very nervous because, uh, you know, trying to control the tempo. And again, against a team like this is probably the worst nightmare for, for a, a team like Central Florida to play against a team uh, like the State College of Florida. Because of their style of play, it, it's different than what you see every night, and it's hard to play against. Oleka checks out 23 points today for the 6'7 freshman. He's got a chance to buy for Suncoast Player of the Year next year. Shot off the glass, no good by Wigginton. Taken away by the Patriots. And thrown yeah. away right to the <laughs> hands of Holloway. Well, you can see that basically uh, the Manatees are trying to take away Suarez's touches the ball. They don't even want him to touch it because they feel like he's the one guy, obviously, who can create a shot or control the tempo. They're just not letting him have it at all. And you're right, Coach. We do see the substitutions continuing for the Manatees. Open look for Sanchez. Rims out. Hey, he hit one today. Johnson had the shot blocked. McCrory got the block. Now, Michael Sanchez only with two points today. He averages... 14.8 a game. Yeah, it's, and he, he's been shooting 36, 37% from the three point line. He said, no game. Alley oop and Oleka throws it down. Now, the mental side of the game takes over. We always talk about the mental, the physical, as far as it's the one, and here comes the mental side of the game. You start to see momentum change. Man, Manatee's going to come back hard. They, uh, they're down, they're, they're going to shoot freely. And Central Florida, human nature dictate they're going to tighten up a little bit. So we'll see how they handle the pressure. 7 0 run. The basket good and a foul. That's why they didn't want him to touch the ball because sure as the guy, sure as the guy that, you know, 6'3, 205, this is the guy who basically can control the tempo of the game. He's going to be one of the best freshmen in the country next year. One of the best freshmen in the country this year is going to be one of the best sophomores next year. He's from San Juan, Puerto Rico. He's, he's, he, he's got that two-guard size, but he can play some point. He's a true combo guard. He's not the, the combo guard. It's just a, a, a small sh uh, shooter. He's a true combo guard and play both positions. He's got 11. He becomes the fifth Patriot to reach double figures today. Ball deflected and stolen. Parks got grabbed by Williams. Third foul on Isaiah Williams. 137 to play. 